All right, I just cut my fiberglass strips, just getting ready, just doing some prep work for uh, resin on the floor here to protect the wood. Uh, I'm not gonna be starting this today or working on the resin and stuff like that. I, I do have everything inside, but just doing some prep work out here right now, making sure I have the strips that I need. I also have uh, these over here that I'm gonna have to resin just to make sure they're they're solid and good. And uh, yeah, can't forget that little guy right there. Um, but there's gonna be more to come and uh, hopefully I, in the next couple of days I can find time to get out here and fire up the uh, kerosene heater, get it warm in here and, and get some resin on this wood. And then that way I can progress and move forward. But uh, yeah, so just out here for a little bit tonight to, to work on this. All right, hopefully you guys can hear me okay. I'm wearing a face mask because I'm doing all this uh, resin work. So, I just put it on the floor. I started with that over there that I'll show you as a test run. I just wanted to see how it would go and it went pretty well. So I just continued right on and you can still see those cause I just did those. And I know it's not ideal having this touching the, the wood that I just co covered with resin, but these gaps didn't weren't sitting perfectly flush so i had to put some strategic weight just to get them to sit tight and then uh i got a couple screws over there i figured it was better more important to have those as straight as possible and flat as possible because this i can just sand and refinish later then over here i started with these guys just to see how it would come out uh, these, we'll see how it, how it comes, but it had some dust on it, it looks like. It didn't come out too perfectly, but, uh, yeah, maybe I'll take a roller to it and see if I can do something with it. I don't know. Uh, otherwise, again, I could just sand it and, uh, just put another layer on. That's probably what I'll do. All right, I'm going to go take a break. Been out here for a couple hours. Get this stuff done. So far, so good. I think it looks looks nice. Hey, I'm out here in the garage checking up on this. It's been about six and a half hours since I, I did all this and this, this spot over there. Uh, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. It looks great. It's uh, curing. It, it's uh, a slow cure mixture, so it, it's taken a little while, but... Uh, I think on the bottle it said something 60, six to seven hours, and here it is, six and a half. It's still tacky, but it's getting there. Uh, I've got some spots to sand down and, and redo, because I had this in here to, to weigh everything down. It looks like the seam came out pretty nice. It looks straight and flat. I just have to uh, sand it down and hopefully make the uh, fiberglass disappear a little bit more. Um, but yeah, I was nervous about putting the jacks down, but I think that was the best way to go. So I can always just uh, fix that, fix the spots. And they really aren't even that noticeable. Um, you can see a lot of imperfections on the screen right now, but I think one of them was like over here somewhere. But it's all looking pretty good. Pretty happy with it. I like the color too. I think that's pretty neat. Definitely darkened up, made it look nice. Uh, yeah, I think they both look pretty good. Just, uh, sanding on all of this. I probably will just do a, a light grit, just, uh, a really light sand to make it smooth and probably do another coat maybe tomorrow night or something, uh, whenever I can find some, some more time. Uh, but yeah, it looks pretty good. All right, it's the next morning. Uh, it's all cured. It's solid. Feels really good. I have my sander out. I'm going to do some sanding and then uh, another coat probably this afternoon or tonight. All right, I'm a little nervous here because it looks so messy. I have no idea how this is going to turn out. This is the first time I've ever done this. I did a uh, one other fiberglass project last winter. It's actually over there. That was going to be a battery box. That was my first idea of a battery box for the uh, RAV4, um, but didn't go that path. Um, so that was a polyester resin. Uh, it went fine, but I didn't have to make it look pretty because nobody was going to see it. It was going to be hidden in the trunk. And this, I want to try to make 
look pretty because it's going to be the, the floor. It will be covered uh, with a bed uh, most of the time. So, I mean, really people won't really see it, but I want to make it nice. And I watch a lot of videos online and they said sanding uh, epoxy resin is fine. But after I started, I realized those were it was just like a, a table, an epoxy table or something like that. So it didn't include any fiberglass. Uh, so this really looks bad. Um, I'm hoping it gets covered. I don't know what the hell to do. This is my first time. So if it ends up looking like shit, then oh well, looks like shit because it's, it's going to be permanent. Um, I used uh this sandpaper which looks aggressive i thought it would be okay but actually was it this one no it was it was this one and then i switched actually it was kind of like this when it started so it really doesn't look too bad uh and then i switched it up and went to this really fine sandpaper and then i went to just a, a sanding block for like just painting walls and stuff so some of this is getting smooth, but it looks like shit. So I hope it comes out nice. I'll know later this afternoon, but that's where I'm at. All right, I just sanded this stuff. I started with some 80 grit, uh, just here by hand. 80 grit, and then I went to uh, 320 to 400, and this is smooth. There's a couple spots, but that's just because it was raised, and then I sand it. Uh, I think with the second coat, it'll be fine. I'm actually not gonna do anything with this one. It looks fine, plus it's gonna be inside, so that won't, won't really matter. Uh, I got the heater going, gonna get do some more work tonight, today. Um, this looks like shit. I, I'm pretty much expecting to see this through the final coat here. I'm gonna do a little bit. Um, I sanded it a bunch, but I hate fucking sanding <laughs> and I think the uh, belt sander was just too much power, even with fine grit. Um, so I'm just gonna take it however it is. It's, yeah, we'll see. At least it's, it's pretty level. This is the worst spot right here. For some reason that didn't get level, but I'm gonna clean it all off and do another coat on this. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna take it as it is, but so far it's going okay. at it. I am uh, doing the second layer on this. Uh, I think it all came out really pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it so far. And uh, these are starting to disappear. There's some of my black marks, which, oh well, fuck it. <laughs> my first try, I didn't know. Uh, besides this part anyway, is gonna be mostly covered by the box that's over there. Um, and I really filled in I put a, a lot of epoxy on these joints just to fill it all out. Uh, I have a six inch drywall plastic uh, spatula thing. I don't know what they're called. Uh, so I took that all the way down both lines and smoothed all that out. So it should be pretty flat. I got the heater going. I just did the top of this one here. So I did, I did sand this one nice. So this should probably be the best piece out of all of it, so it's already looking pretty good. Uh, I got a six inch foam roller, that worked great. And also, I had no idea, but acetone melts um, foam, so keep that in mind if you're gonna do any of this. All of this is just a learning experience. I have <laughs> said this before, but I have never done this before. Hopefully I don't fuck anything up too bad. Uh, but I'm pretty happy with the way things are going. So right now I'm just gonna let it sit. I'll come back in uh, probably a couple hours and uh, I have a, we'll see how much I can get done today, but I'll, I'll probably be back at it in a couple hours. All right, floors are officially done. I'm pretty happy with the way they turned out. Uh, the seam is visible, but whatever. I mean, not bad for my first try. I'm happy with it. Um, I, I did put these because this is a mounting location to keep everything um, mounted to the battery. So that's why I reinforced that hole. Uh, same thing with the holes in front. But uh, the rest and everything went on fine. Uh, went really well. And when this was still a little tacky late last night, I put this in place. 
So that's really strong. And I even, you can kind of see, I put fiberglass around the edges as well on both sides. Um, but yeah, I think it looks pretty good. And this piece especially, I really took my time with this one because I knew it was going to be visible. And yeah, pretty happy with it. So if you guys are going to use uh, epoxy and uh, maybe even polyester, I have noticed from my time when I built that with polyester resin, polyester resin was way worse with uh, just how volatile it was, how much it stunk, and it just kind of, I'm out here in the garage, it even smelled my house uh, next door. Um, so that really stunk a lot worse than this. This... Uh, the epoxy resin, when I was working with it, uh, the first time I used a mask, but then I took it off at one point, and I couldn't smell anything. It wasn't really, yeah, I, I couldn't even tell it, it, I was working with it, so it was fine. So the last few times I didn't wear a mask, um, I'm sure it's probably still bad even though I can't smell it, but um, but yeah, it's that's just one major difference I noticed. Uh, also, my, my canisters are inside, but I have two bottles I had sitting right here, and I got the squirt tops, just like a soap dispenser, but they're high-quality units uh, from Tap Plastics. I got all the stuff from Tap Plastics in California, and having the pump was so much nicer for, for mixing. Uh, all of this stuff was a two-to-one mixture, so it made it so much easier because I was just I pumped twice on one. And one on the other. Uh, I was mixing batches of, I'd usually do uh, four pumps on the resin and then two on the hardener. And that gave me enough to, to work with. And, and that's the batch I, I was, I was uh, using, batch size. Um, all right, so I guess that's it. But I'm calling it. Floors are officially done. Uh, now I've got to, I want to run some wires before I get too far along with the walls, but I also do want to see how it's all gonna look. I've got one of the walls set up over there, so at some point I do need to resin that. Uh, that's actually another good comparison to see. So that's just what the natural wood look like, and with no color additives or anything, this is what it turned into just using that uh, epoxy resin. I, I, I love the color. I, I, I think it looks great, I'm really happy with it. So. That's it for now, and uh, I'll see you on the next video. Bye.